Joseph marks the beginning of, you know, one of the most crucial collaborations in the British 20th century theatre. Well, Joseph was a chapter of accidents, really. And a schoolmaster friend of ours called Alan Doggett invited us to write something for his end-of-term school play. We, we sort of thought of lots of stories. We, we could, we, one time we were thinking of sort of doing a, a spy, kind of James Bond-type story. I think then Tim looked through his wonder book of Bible stories and came up with the, uh, the story of, uh, of the guy who was exiled and um, driven into slavery and came back and, and saved his country and, and brought it into economic renewal. And we came up with Joseph. And from that point, back in 1968, March the 1st, when Joseph was first performed, it just grew and grew and grew. You wouldn't say it was a flawless masterpiece, you'd just say it was a wonderfully fresh, inventive new piece of musical theatre. I think Tim Rice is right, you know, he once said to me, did I do this? Were we that young, that fresh, that innovative? And they, it was such a wonderfully unselfconscious piece of writing by them both, at, you know, just as they started out, and it's got that bloom on it of freshness, immediacy and absolute charm. <laughs> The Stephen Pivlock played in production, I mean, has been, I suppose, probably the best and the most successful around the world, I mean, of, of any Joseph that we've ever had. Andrew, um, Andrew Lloyd Webber, I had um, seen a production I'd done of Carmen, an arena production. Why he should think I would be a suitable choice for Joseph, I don't know. And as the other piece of work I had on that year was Julius Caesar, I thought it would make um, a pleasant contrast. The team responsible was Stephen Pimlock, the director, and Mark Thompson, the um, designer. Um, they have great operatic experience, even at that stage. They've done quite a lot of work in musical theatre and operas. I don't know what I really brought to it. I mean, I started off, like I do with most things, of, of telling the story. Um, it's a very good story, and it's very well told. You did feel, were they breaking a butterfly on a wheel? Had they taken a hammer to a nut, as it were? You know, and you've got the Egyptian slaves coming on like Mediterranean gay waiters in their white mini skirts. Um, and I did think it was a little over the top and probably putting too much strain on it. But um, I was in a minority of about minus one, I think. The audience absolutely loved it. Every day or two.